Hey everybody, this is Tammy, the Fibonacci Princess from the Fibonacci Room here at Simpler Trading. And I wanted to talk to y'all tonight about Bitcoin. And what brought it to my mind was the fact that my aunt, who is in her 70s, sent me an email this morning and uh, asked me about Bitcoin, if I know anything about it. And uh, <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny because... You know how it goes when your your aunt and your Uber driver start asking you about something. Um, <laughs> you're not sure if you should get excited or worried, right? So I um, have an account for my daughters. I have very young daughters, for those of you that may not know. Um, I have a one-year-old and a seven-year-old, which uh, is pretty young for a woman in her 40s. <laughs> so I started them account an account um, right around when it was right around like 9,000 or so so the account is doing very well obviously because now we are at 34,855. so I wanted to give you all the same information that I was going to give my aunt and that is that I love the setup zone that we have right here at 28,586 to 28,740 it does include a retracement from that low to high swing and it's also some symmetrical support from that high to that low to this high okay so I wanted us to look at this and if that low is in place from January 22nd we've been through the resistance already okay so your target is going to be 46,491. Now, yes, we have failed off of that 786. That is something that's very typical that we see in the Fibonacci room. It happens all the time. So what do I do? I go to a lower time frame chart, find more um, areas of support so that I have a better zone of risk other than this 28,586 to 28,740. So now my zone of risk for my aunt's account that I'm about to help her start, my, my shortest zone of risk is going to be 32,260, to be honest with you. If it goes beyond the symmetrical support of this last swing, and the last swing that we're talking about is this low, which is the same low that we had on the daily chart, okay? I am going to look for lower lows and I'm going to be out of that and I don't I don't want to have her owning it after that because we could make a deeper downside correction, okay? So, my zones of support that I'm looking at with my aunt are 33349 to 33621, 32796 to 33068 and 32260. If that low is in place from today, okay, on this 120 minute chart, you're going to have a target of 45.44, but you are going to have some resistance in the way because of this low to this high to this low, okay? So I want to go ahead and mark that level of resistance for you on the 120 minute chart. So that comes in 36,445 to 37,071. And here's what you have to decide when it comes to resistance. Do you want to bail out there or do you want to go for the target? I personally do not day trade or swing trade or anything else my Bitcoin. I, I don't even know how easily that works. Everything that I've heard before is that it's not very easy to do. I have Bitcoin that I bought for my daughters and I just plan on having it forever and see where it goes. Like I said, I bought it around 9,000 and um, it's doing great so far. So. It's not something that I'm trading, but of course there are some of you out there that are trading it, and that is why I wanted to create this video. I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend and a fantastic evening, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.